Hey everybody, Mary and the Barbarian here. We are home late from work. I've been chatting for a minute. See, that's how awesome this watch is. I can wear it to a job where I beat shit up and it survives. But anyways, and actually like scratch free for the most part. Um, definitely the Sapphire Crystal scratch free. But we got an unboxing for you today. Um, so tired. We're gonna do, I may not do a shade tonight for shade video. But we're gonna shower afterwards. We got three uh, three boxes because I ordered these before the snowstorm, the great snowstorm of 2024 in Nashville, Tennessee, where we got like six to eight inches. Man, it's freaking crazy. We got our Boker Magnum, I think it is, short little unboxing tool, my upgrade. And uh, you know what? This is the only one not from the Razor Company. I kind of feel bad about these orders because I didn't know I was going to be missing like a week's worth of work because of snow. Um, and it's just like, well, I shouldn't have spent that money. You know what I mean? But we're going to enjoy the items because I, I am excited about them. Um, Johan inspired this. He was like, dude, just go ahead and get it. Johan doesn't say dude. But anyway, we've opened up. Can you tell what comes in these boxes, people? What comes in these boxes? All right. I am excited about it. I think it's a like 27 and a half millimeter knot. I mean, obviously, y'all guessed it's a brush. It's got this little uh, made in Italy. You can tell it's a zenith. And uh, we got this from like, what's the name of the place? The Gentle Shave. I was looking for Zenith Horsehair, and it was like the place, pretty much the only place that popped up other than eBay, and then you get looking on eBay, and guess what? It's him selling it on eBay as well. Um, so here it is. It's not in great shape. There's some scuffs. Like, let me show you. I'm not happy about that. Um, that looks to be a scuff. Like, there's just some scuffs. I don't like. But anyways, super soft Horsehair brush, um, supposedly more mane than tail. And hey, there is no scritch while it's dry. We'll see. Every horsehair I've ever used is a lot of scritch. Johan said that his Zenith horsehair doesn't have any scritch. He didn't have to get rid of scritch. I was asking how long it took. Doesn't stink. But the blue, I'm not happy. See, and there's like Use some spit and wipe, and here we go. We use the high polish. Yeah, it's scuffs, man. Like, look at the scuff. Do y'all see that? Scuff on the brush. Like, and the only reason I'm beefing with the scuff is because you charged $57. And then what's these, like, little, like, white paint flecks? Okay, not happy about that. Like, I'm going to contact the guy. Be like, hey man, there's like little white paint flecks stuck to this. There's scuffs all over the brush. Like y'all can't see them as easily on this part as you could right up there on the front. Do y'all see that one? Yeah. Just that's disappointing. Doesn't even look nearly as good as the As a matter of fact, guys, here's a picture of what it looked like. And when I was like, ah, let's get it. Would you be disappointed? Okay. So that, we won't be using that for a shave tonight. All right. I disappointed myself the first package. But guess what? It's all uphill, um, all downhill from here. Like this is, I know this is good stuff. I'm excited about this stuff. So, Razor Company. I don't know what's in this one. I think I told y'all that I was looking to do budget. Remember? And uh, so I picked this up because uh, I've had issues with the face being like chapped this winter and this is one of his like sale clearance items that pop up occasionally here and there um, on the razor company he's got a tab for it creme de la croc and it is it's the balm yeah it, it's a balm with like water aloe avocado oil coconut oil and I can't remember the price but it was like less than ten dollars and it, and it looked bougie you know, where I was like, you know what? Let's find something else to use because I'm about to run out of uh, the serum from, actually, I'm pretty much out of serum from Zingari at this point. Very mentholated scent. Or maybe there's tea tree oil in here. 
emulsifying wax, colloidal oil, oatmeal, arrowroot, argon oil, vitamin E oil, optothin, eucalyptus. There we go. Eucalyptus, that's what I'm getting. All right. Sorry, we're taking a little while, guys. I think I told you. Styptic pencil. Pretty much I need to buy enough things so that shipping was pretty much free. And that's what we did. If y'all haven't checked out the inspector's den, the inspector's already used this. I think he used it on the Razor Company video he did for them as a matter of fact. But it's the Goodfellas Bayonetta. I like brass razors, guys. Um, I do. I like how they look. I like how they patina. It's my thing. I was telling somebody I thought about dipping my Christopher Bradley in vinegar because I think that turns it like just black. Um, wow. Okay. So straight out of the package, there's. It wasn't fully assembled. I don't like that, honestly. Because, like, look how much play that is. Like, that's if there was any play in the packaging, it wore on the threads. It's not a razor company thing because they're not opening each item, you know, and inspecting and making sure the person that sent it to them, like, you know. Let's look at it. It says TGS. That's the manufacturer in Italy that's making it for TJ, TGS. And there we go. Made in Italy. Bayonetta. I, I do like the Goodfellas Smiles razors. They're all very attractive. Um, the stiletto I had that was aluminum, I think. I really didn't enjoy it, but uh, too much blade chatter for me. Um, it was mild, but blade chatter. Um, send it to Kim Gray. She likes it. Um, she had commented how she liked the way it looked. I didn't send it to her because it was something I didn't like. So, all right. We will cut away from ourselves. That's how you do it, right? You don't cut towards yourself. And boom. Sorry, I didn't mark out the addresses, so we're trying to do the unboxing so you can't see everything. I'm telling you, man, more TRC stickers. My daughter's like, we've got enough of those on there already. But she liked the Moon Soaps ones. So here is pretty much my budget shave. Well, wait, I'm going to show you the budget shave that I want to do. Beginner budget shave, I'm just starting out. So Johan got me interested in horse, right? <laughs> Shave and Butcher, if y'all don't know who I'm talking about. I'll link his channel below. So we picked up a Samog. I haven't tried a Samog horse hair, but I've had two different bylogs. Um, the one without scritch, I had treated um, so that it wouldn't have scritch. Falling apart. So I got this wood handle Samog. More backbone than this. This is like, doesn't feel as dense. This feels more dense, much smaller knot. And there's, there's going to be a little scritch to this. This, super soft. Disappointed in the scuffs. We're going to contact the um, seller. But anyways, I liked it. Green, wood handle, uber cheap. Wanted to give it a try. So... There we go, we've gone over the horse head. Beginner shave, guys. You get a sneak preview. 40% extra free. Park Avenue Collection Classic Lather Shaving Cream. I think this was like $3.99. And this is put like this. I picked up a Bally. I've never used a Bally razor. Sorry I'm looking down and not at y'all while I'm like trying to undo things, but I'm a little tired and not as focused as like trying to look and interact as well as I should. Like if we were face to face, it'd be just as bad. Um, whoop. Loose again. But all right. Bally Razor, dude. $5.99. It kind of looks like someone's take on a um, Gillette Tech head. The ends are different because you kind of see how they're scalloped out and stuff. But yeah, $5.99, $3.99 for the shaving cream. 
The splash I'm going to use is like $6. Let's look, guys. It is just an unboxing, but I'm probably just going to go to the classic skin bracer. Six bucks. And there is splash as cheap as $5.99 at the Razor Company. And now, the brush, because it was the cheapest one at the Razor Company. Oh, I didn't show you guys. Just so you know, there is the brush stand for the Samoog. Came out, fell in the sink, and I forgot to show you. But there you go. Brush stand for the Samoog. Synthetic two band by Sterling, which is really cool. Sterling, I mean, we all know. If y'all watch David on the Shade Migos, we all know that David's got to get himself one of these. I mean, he loves that green, that sexy green. I like it. I like the vintage look of it personally. But $13.99, um, cheapest synthetic that I could find on the Razor Company. And I wanted to do it as like, hey guys, you can go to the Razor Company. And honestly, Razor Company, $35 and up is free shipping. This was $3.99, $5.99, so $6.4, $10 plus $14, $24. Eleven more dollars you could buy a different aftershave, a little higher end, maybe. Free shipping, but I think shipping for this would have been like two ninety nine from the razor company. So for less than thirty dollars, you know, you're you're ready to go. But look at that, man. Look at that sexy sterling green right there. I mean, David Gonzalez would shit himself if he saw this brush. He'd just be so excited. All right, guys, that's it. That's it for the unboxing. Sorry it was like a twelve minute unboxing. But, I enjoyed myself. I am excited to use some of this. Um, Bill, I told you I was going to use nothing but uh, Murphy and McNeil moving forward. But we are going to fit the budget shave in somewhere in there. Just because, like, I need to do a video for beginners again. And I need to do it with products that are easily found. Because some of what I would consider my beginner products or introductory items aren't necessarily easy to get anymore. Um, after being in the hobby and not using those... Basic, basic, introductory items, um, mass um, marketed items, you know, mass manufactured items. I don't really use those anymore. So I needed to look around, see what I could find, so I could do something that was more relevant to 2024 instead of 2019. Um, but all right, guys, that's it. If you made it this far, thank you. I know this was a long video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And hit that noti bell. And the next video will be a shave.